Yes, my voice sounds like this because I'm sick. Er. And welcome back to Cliffy Land. This is week in country number 54 in our second attempt of cooking the food of every country in the world. And tonight we're up to the nation of Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is a small nation located in West Africa. It is comprised of three parts, three former Spanish colonies. One, a strip of land located between Cameroon and Gabon. A small island located off the coast. And a larger island quite far off the coast. Trivia note, the capital of Equatorial Guinea is located on that far off island, although they're building a brand new one from scratch on the mainland. Also, it is one of the hardest countries to get into as a tourist, and it is the only independent nation in Africa which has Spanish as an official language. Now about the food. Owing to its Spanish colonial history, it has an influence of the Spanish as well as the native African traditions. Finding recipes from Equatorial Guinea was not easy, so we need to look and see how things went when we tried this last time around. Well, four years ago on the Global Cooking Challenge, I was really stumped trying to find a good recipe for the nation. As such, I wound up with a paella dish, which is supposed to be made with guinea fowl, but I couldn't find guinea fowl, and I tried to make it with chicken, and I tried to coat the chicken with millet flour just because, which wasn't a good idea, so it didn't come out too great. I served that with an okra side dish, which didn't come out too well either, so unfortunately that really didn't come out too well. Ergo, tonight we are going to do things a little bit differently. I went searching for new recipes, and I found some, so tonight we will be making making Equatoguinean grilled fish with avocado sauce and we'll be serving that with an Equatoguinean succotash. Say that ten times fast. Trivia note, Equatorial Guinea is the first of four guineas which we will be doing across the challenge. Those being, in Africa, Equatorial Guinea, just plain Guinea, also known as Guinea Conakry, and Guinea Bissau, and in the Pacific, Papua New Guinea. That doesn't even count the French territories in South America of French Guinea and Guyana, formerly known as British Guinea. Well enough of that, let's see what's going into these dishes. First, First, for the Equatoguinean grilled fish with avocado sauce, we'll need two whole fish cleaned and prepped, about half a pound each, any firm fish will do, we're using yellowtail snapper here, three garlic cloves crushed, two hot chili peppers seeded and minced, we're using scotch bonnets here, one cup of freshly squeezed lime juice, three tablespoons of coconut or palm oil, we're using sustainably sourced palm oil here, and salt and pepper to taste. And for the sauce, 1.69 cups or 400 milliliters of beef stock, 1.69 cups or 400 milliliters of water, one hot chili pepper minced, again we're going with a scotch bonnet here, one tomato chopped finely, two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice, two avocados which will be peeled, stoned, and finely chopped, and four tablespoons of smooth unsweetened peanut butter. And then for the Equatoguinean succotash, we'll need one onion chopped, four tablespoons of coconut or palm oil, again we're using sustainably sourced palm oil here, three small tomatoes chopped, two Two cups of corn kernels, we're using fresh but you may substitute frozen. Two cups of lima beans, we're using dried beans soaked overnight and boiled for two hours but you may substitute frozen. And salt and pepper to taste. That looks good, looks simple. Note, this will be the first time yours truly will have ever grilled an entire fish. And also I will be grilling the fish on a grill pan in the kitchen rather than on the barbecue outdoors because of this. That being said, let's see how it went. First, rinse off the fish, and blot dry with paper towels. Cut diagonal slices into the fish skin, place the fish in a ceramic baking dish, season liberally inside and out with salt and pepper, add garlic, chili pepper, cover with lime juice, spread evenly over the fish, cover and refrigerate for two hours. Meanwhile, work on the sauce. Set the beef stock to boil in a saucepan, add the water, chili pepper, chopped tomato, lemon juice, and chopped avocados. Bring back to a boil and let simmer for 20 minutes. Remove the fish from the marinade, season with salt and pepper, paint on both sides with oil. Remove six tablespoons of sauce to a bowl, mix that with the peanut butter, add the mixture to the saucepan, stir to combine, and simmer for another 10 minutes. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, heat a grill or grill pan to high, Lower the heat to medium and place the fish on the grill or pan. Things will get smoky. Grill for two to three minutes on one side, flip the fish, and then place it in the oven and bake at 400 degrees for five to six minutes. Heat the oil in a saucepan over medium heat, add the onions, saute until softened, add the tomatoes, 
Bring to a simmer over medium low heat. Cook for 20 minutes adding water if it becomes too dry. Add the drained lima beans, corn, and cook for 10 minutes. Season with salt and pepper. Serve the sauce in ramekins. Scoop servings of the succotash. Remove the fish from the oven. Cover with foil for 5 minutes. Then plate the fish alongside. Wipe plates and serve. turn out. Well, considering it was the first time I ever grilled an entire fish, I think I did pretty well. I really should have coated that grill pan a little better with oil starting out so that the skin didn't stick to it quite as much, but it tasted really good. It was kind of hard to eat because of the bones and all, and we're not really used to doing this. Here. Mm. But I thought it was really delicious. The marinade gave it a really nice flavor, and the avocado sauce with its bits of hot chili peppers inside gave it a nice kick with the creaminess of the avocado. So I'm going to give the Equitoganean grilled fish with avocado sauce for out of five globes. As for that succotash, disclaimer, I really don't like succotash because I don't really like lima beans. But I actually like this. It was quite tasty and very filling. The better half did note that the corn was a little bit underdone and that's probably because I didn't boil it ahead of time. My bad. I still liked it though. So I'm gonna give the succotash 4 out of 5 globes also. Well that does it for Equatorial Guinea, but we're gonna stick in Africa for a little while longer. But first, remember, if you'd like to see our streams live when they happen every Tuesday night, be sure to follow us on Periscope and Busker and now Facebook Live. Like and subscribe to be advised when these videos are posted every Wednesday night. And if you have any thoughtful feelings or helpful suggestions about the food of Equatorial Guinea or any of our future nations, be sure to sound off in the comments. Remember, links to the original recipes can be found in the About section. And tune in next week when we head a little bit northwest to have the delicious food of Eritrea. Till then, thanks for watching and happy eating!